In preparation for an overclock tier list I have coming, I figured I'd make this because, as great as overclocks are, it does take a while for newer players to fully get into them, and I want people who are still in the midst of their long unlock process to have some fun alternatives. Also, these things tend to be tucked behind weapons and mods that, unless you see it from someone else, you might miss it completely, so I want to make sure that no one's missing out. And fortunately, once you do know about them, you can unlock them in a matter of hours, unlike overclocks. So with that in mind, I'll be listing them off in order of how fast they're unlockable. But first, some honorable mentions. Like many of you I'm sure, I wrote this mod off because I knew what I wanted for my Warthog. Automatic shotgun? Sign me up. Why would I want to spend ammo on not one, but two of my weapons for whatever turret whip does? Turns out, turret whip does this. Snappy feedback, a great sound effect, and some serious damage output. Also, for anyone worried about efficiency, here's what seven bullets normally do and then what five bullets can do with turret whip. And as one last show, here's what you can do to a Praetorian. You have to try this at least once. This synergy does include axes and kind of drill this kit as a whole, but the cryo cannon and drills are definitely the cornerstone of this. The idea is, you combine the 3 times damage against frozen enemies, the melee damage from barbed drills, and if you get it unlocked, the HP gain from Vampire, to get what is this game's version of a melee build. It also changes the cryo cannon from a sometimes tedious team support tool into the Doom Guyinator, siphoning chunks of health to the overlapping sound of bugs snapping and a shower of ice particles is, well... This build also teaches you what is by far one of the best aspects of Driller, and that's how fluid his kit can be. Between full swarms, big bugs, and Actera, you'll find that you have a snappy, easy to use tool for any of these enemies. Gunner's Thunderhead is a weapon with really good sustain and really good splash damage. The only problem is that it doesn't dish out either of these all that quick. So in tighter areas, just using this weapon means grunts get to take one last nibble out of you before they pass on. And that's where fear comes in. It's competing against two mods that I honestly gravitated towards first, since damage obviously addresses the slow kill time, and shield, well, you're taking damage, aren't you? But what fear immediately has over the others is that it's always active. The other two only activate at full rate of fire, while well, this does not. With a little bit of luck, you can fear bugs with just a single stray shot, and then as the bugs run away, they tend to run back into more bugs, meaning you get better value out of your AoE. But most of all, it slows their advance, which is exactly what this weapon needs to succeed. This one is far and away the easiest to recommend. For eager learners, this is an immensely satisfying tool that has one of, if not the, highest skill ceiling in the game. For utility players, it allows you to be an even better driller, and also secretly a scout, and for meta players, it's outright one of the strongest weapons in the game. There's too much to go into, so I'll just rattle off its abilities. Kill lots of bugs fast, kill big bugs fast, kill lots of Bactera fast, mine minerals fast, mine hard to reach minerals fast, mine clutter fast, mine hard to reach clutter fast, and likely some more that I'm missing. I was intimidated by its reputation for a long time but it's seriously one of the best things this game has to offer. Just trust me on that. The Sabata is a very simple weapon, especially compared to Driller's other secondaries. But equip this tier 5 mod, and the Sludge Pump with it, and suddenly it gains tons of depth. The effects as listed are a bit much to take in, but all you need to know is there's a great synergy in store. Place your goo, then pop one bug for a quick result, apply to multiple for a chain reaction, or just generally do more damage to bugs of all sizes. 
and that's about all I have to say. Any excuse to equip the sludge pump is already great in my eyes, but giving a straightforward weapon a silly gimmick is always worthwhile. Yes, I really do mean the bolt shark as a whole. One-shotting bugs with regular bolts is satisfying as is, especially with both that sound and the ragdolls. But together with special bolts, this is a weapon that's so fun and takes up so much of my attention that I genuinely forget I have the rest of my kit. Chemical bolts are admittedly my least used because of how much trouble I have activating them, but when you pull it off, like that's definitely satisfying. On the other hand, pheromone bolts are extremely easy to use and instantly take a huge weight off your shoulders, which is something I personally adore since the responsibility of playing scout tends to stress me out. And then taser bolts are just versatile. Deal some free damage to a swarm, deal some damage and slow to a big bug, deal better damage to a big bug. You know what? Deal even better damage. Whichever bolt you choose, I just ask that you at least try this weapon out. This is certainly a lesser pick, since without a certain overclock, it's a bit of a struggle to pull off on your own. You can do it with help of a flame driller, but using heat on the hurricane is easily your best option, though the window it gives you does get pretty small. Incendiaries work too, but having only 4 chances to use it is just too restrictive on its own. But otherwise, actually pulling off the NTC effect is great. Turning one bug on fire into multiple bugs on fire is a joy, especially with that sound and visual. I highly recommend it to anyone wanting a bit of a challenge and or a satisfying synergy for a gunner. The wave cooker is already a really quirky weapon, but it still feels crazy that chaining temp shocks basically for free isn't an overclock effect. If you aren't sure what that means, don't worry. Just watch how it works with the crisper. And now with the cryo cannon. Oh, and don't worry, it's good against big bugs, too. But that's enough of my demonstration. Go try it for yourself. And that's it for my list. If you feel like I missed anything, feel free to mention it in the comments. The more fun mechanics we unearth, the better. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Rock and stone, and have a good one.